Hi, I am Dr. Deepak Devka from Bangalore. I am a practicing dermatologist, specialized in dermatology, cosmetology and hair transplant. I am practicing in Jayanagar in Damascal Clinic. We have two clinics, another one in Belando. Acne scars develop due to sequelae of acne. It can develop during young age or middle age and form scars which may last a lifetime. We have to avoid scars from uh, uh, developing into permanent uh, scarring due to the acne. This can be done by doing simple, uh, following simple steps. One is, you'll have to avoid touching your pimple, breaking it or scratching or picking the pimple. This will worsen the scars and cause uh, deeper tissue inflammation which causes scarring in long term. This is a very crucial time whenever you get a fresh acne, a fresh breakout where there is pus or red pimples that should never be handled or they should not be picked. Scrubbing should also be avoided in such situations. You shouldn't either press it with the towel or tip of your fingers also. If you are taking this care, it will prevent deeper scarring and can be managed better and the healing will be good. If there is a pus filled infection, if there is a pus filled pimple is there, you shouldn't try to take away the pus. Just take applications, ointments can be used which will help in healing of the acne before the breakout worsens. Over-the-counter available medications such as benzoyl peroxide gels can be used which will help in clearing the acne much faster and taking away the infection. You should consult a dermatologist if there is a significant breakout of acne before trying any home care methods is not advisable. The next point is you shouldn't get frustrated or anxious with the acne. The more anxious and frustrated you are, the acne scars will worsen because of they are affecting also your hormonal changes in the body. The more you get frustrated with them, your cortisol levels in the body will go up and will worsen their formation of pimples and more pimples may break out. So be relaxed, consult a doctor. Usually it will take a week or so for the acne to settle down and we can prevent further breakouts also with the right medications. Now, when you start picking the acne, if you scratch them, they are going to leave more deeper scars. Not only scars, they can also cause a pigmentation, a darker patch which is left after the acne heals. Now these dark patches or the red patches which are left once the acne have flattened out, these are what is called as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. These are not actually deep scars, but if you start handling them, they will turn out to be more deeper scars. So this can be prevented also. So for these deeper scars, simple post care such as using a sunscreen every day, morning and afternoon and before your sun exposure, 30 minutes before your sun exposure will help in preventing a darker uh, shade of those acne scars. This can be done with a simple uh, uh, over the counter available sunscreen application and uh, gel based sunscreen would be suitable for acne prone skin. You shouldn't uh, try to cleanse your face uh, very frequently also. Ideally, two times a day should be good enough and then you'll have to use a mild soap-free cleansers and then the right medications for your acne. Acne scarring can happen on the body also. It can happen on your chest, shoulders as well as your back. Now, these take longer time compared to your uh, face uh, acne to heal. So, when uh, in such situations, you can use a benzoyl peroxide uh, wash which can be available online or uh, over the counter and uh, this will help in clearing the acne as well as uh, you should prevent any kind of scrubbing for your back as well as using a towel vigorously on your back which will cause more scarring so a gentle dry uh, pad drying of the skin would be better in such situations